millions of people in the world's poorest countries are trapped in the prison of poverty. It is time to set them free. Poverty is not natural. It is man-made and can be overcome by the action of human beings. Local Road 3096, commonly known by the community as Timber Road, which translates directly to the Road of Hope. The Department of Transport heeded the call of the community to provide an accessible route to the local schools, agricultural land, clinic and a communal place of worship. The project team consisted of the community of Umbumbulu, the client, the Guazulu Natal Department of Transport, and the consultant, Nadi Consulting. Stakeholder engagement was central to the success of the project. A public liaison committee was established to identify the needs of the community. During the skills audit, it was identified that about 70% of the community members were unemployed. In line with the National Development Plan of creating jobs and alleviating poverty, NIDU Consulting saw this as an opportunity to empower the people and the local community by upgrading the road using labor-intensive construction methods. The labor-intensive construction guidelines were used to calculate the number of people required to complete the project, which resultantly added up to over 100 locals in a 12-month period. A fair employment process was agreed on by randomly selecting candidates that responded to the PLC's invitation. In keeping with empowering the community, local rendezvous were rented to conduct medicals. The Department of Transport provided training for the locals to perform their daily tasks. In keeping with the Youth Empowerment Services, commonly known as the Yes Campaign, which was recently launched by President Cyril Ramaphosa, a student was employed to conduct his experiential learning module as part of the requirements for obtaining his national diploma in civil engineering. The Department of Transport started an initiative to motivate the youth by converting a small truck to a mobile communications hub equipped with a screen sound system and with its own power source. This was used to educate the communities on the principles of the National Development Plan, showing the people, Abantu, how powerful they can be when they unite towards a common goal. Thorough planning was done, ensuring that local labor was maximized in performing major tasks that are normally done by plant. The works were distributed in these task components, like clearing and grabbing, road leveling, construction of the naturally draining open earth drains. One of the challenges encountered was the removal of the aged tree stumps that were encroaching on the road reserve. But instead of completely disregarding this valuable resource, it was used to make Zulu furniture, isikliki, and firewood. With the realignment of the road, water services needed to be relocated and the valuable skill of plumbing was disseminated to the locals. This being a labor-intensive project, there was no compromise on quality. The material used for this project was sourced locally and tested to ensure that it conforms to the required G6 standards. The happiness and joy of the community was showered upon the team involved. The upgrade of local road 3096 was indeed a project that showcased the power of Ubuntu. The strong formation and communication of the PLC was instrumental in the success of the project. Itemba, Selbuiseli, Wagumparat, Wasel Road. Hope has now been restored. <laughs>